Okay. Back again. I'm having so much fun playing this game. I thought it just crashed for a second. That would have been so funny. Alright, I think there was a letter beside my bed um, that I want to go read. Just to, just to see what it says. What? I want to read my letter. <laughs> Hold on, Dutch. Hold on. Give me one moment. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, mm. it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that <laughs> ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mary Linton? Oh, gosh. She probably heard about us whenever we were beating up that dude in Valentine. Is this Mary? No, that's my mom. Beatrice Morgan. Okay, no. Yep, thank you. Okay, so... We have to go talk to Mary? Looking like this? <laughs> Uh, whatever. If she loved me, she won't care. Where's my horse at? Hey, Arthur. Boy, Hosea, I don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> what was that skull with the the money on it? Is that like a bounty or something? It was a skull in Valentine. I wonder if we have a bounty on ourselves for... No, because we didn't get a bounty after beating up that dude. Maybe it's like a jail or something. I don't know. I'll have to go check it out. Hello, sheep. Hello, herder. Oh, I wish I'd... Would have greeted him. This is such a nice game to play when you wake up. Just get on for 30 minutes. She's gonna have to tell us. Why are you doing this? Your hearse is dirty. Why did I? I do. I say it. I, that's the second time I said it. Your hearse is dirty. Your horse is dirty. How do I drain it? Or not drain it? You. How do I, how do I, uh, brush it? Hey, partner. Hello. Hey, friend. Yeah, I want to know how to brush my horse. I don't have a brush, unless...
Alright, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to... Look at camp for a brush or something when we get back. This must be the place. Yep. Chardwick Farms. Whatever it was called. I don't know why I have a bandana on. That's not a good look. Let me... Hold on. Let's go ahead and... No, <laughs> I don't want a bandana and a shotgun. Please tell me how to take this off. Okay. No, I don't. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay. We're ready. We loved once and true two. Yes? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, okay, that's not Mary. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry oh. to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. Mm. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Oh my gosh. Yes. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. I thought you should have said I love you, and I was like, shut up. You haven't seen me in a hot minute. Alright, where's Jamie? Let's go help him out. 
Oh, we're going into some new territory here. Cumberland. And he's part of a religious group. I feel like this is going to be an interesting mission. Hello. Good one. <laughs> Man, I got a lot on my mind right now. Ooh, fog. This feels like bad territory. Just wandering in the field. Oh. Oh, hey, you there. Think you can help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Sure. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Man, poor horse. You know everything. Where are we going now? Mind taking me there? Alright, oh. quick detour. Yeah. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since uh -huh. it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah. It's like losing that a dog. horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift Stop a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But I'm biscuit, sorry. He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Mm. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his Good hide job, too Biscuit. as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so. <laughs> that awkward cough. Then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited mm. any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable mm. feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. That doesn't sound like a fun marriage. Marriage is supposed to be fun. Marriage. <laughs> oh, stupid. You guys ever seen that movie? I can't even remember what it's from. Princess Bride. Marriage. All right, new friend. Looks like this is Emerald Ranch. Oh, I guess I see now. why they uh, 
call it that. Everything looks all green. Hmm. Here we go. This is great. This was kind right. of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Okay. Take care of yourself. Appreciate it. What a lousy day. I'm sorry. Hi, buddy. Hey, boy. Good Hello, buddy. Boy. Good boy. Hey, boy. That's a good boy. All right. Back to Jamie. I think I'm just going to cut through. I don't feel like going on the path. We already made quite a detour anyway. like a kid running through like a flock of seagulls at the beach right there and then all the parents around them get mad because then the seagulls just fly in the air and poop on everything <laughs> Every time I hear like an animal, I always get afraid that it's a bear. Yep. We are in bear country. Maybe it was a train. That's probably what it was, right? A friendly train. Ooh. Beautiful. Not good. top of that oh I hope this is not some like midsomar type of deal safety. Hello. I'm not here to hurt you. Chelsea. You gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. I will path knock you out cold. Well, I mean, Don't speak for the boy. sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur? Whoa, whoa, path. whoa. Mm. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. You what manipulated path him. have you chosen, sir? He doesn't understand. I've chosen the path to save this boy. Save the boy. Um, let's just be undecided for now. Um, I won't, still searching, I guess. I won't be uh, quick to We anger. are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Stupidity, that would be funny to say. I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? I'm trying to get on their side. Jamie. So that I can be okay the with them. But of course. I don't want to threaten them. You may speak with them. Exactly. Okay. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? Right. I'm... Hey, buddy. I'm not... 
I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then break Kids up are your so. Mask. They just. Alone, they need Arthur. to listen. Adults know better. Let me just tell you that right now. Adults know better. Jamie, I will lasso you off that horse. Don't make me. Don't make me do it. I'm trying to save you, boy. Come here. Oh, no, I literally completely lost him. I think I gotta... Here, let's retry the checkpoint. I think I have to push my horse. I just don't want to because it's that noise. That it makes the grunting noise. And my stamina will be drained. Sometimes people just want to help, even if it comes off the wrong way. Just stop! Let's talk about this! I don't have to answer to you! And you don't? Maybe you should just Come be on, calm for a you second. Stupid. You can see this is crazy! You're the crazy one! Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! You pop up out of nowhere? I think we're gonna have to do it the hard way. You little jackhead. Sorry, Mr. Oh, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! What are you doing, Jamie? I hope we see those You're stupid people ball. jumping off a cliff Believe and then he's like, They're good oh. People. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Now you got no horse. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm, I'm going to, I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me Don't, alone. please don't make me. Please don't make me. Ooh. Now calm down. Stupid. Stupid Let's kid. Go see your okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, dude. Oh man, I get it. Okay, so kid. dumb, dude. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? We all make mistakes. I don't know, I don't know enough about it. Let's just get one you back thing home. I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. Mm. Mm -mm. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Oh, man. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a 
did last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me My how to My heart's ride racing right now. Too well, apparently. Sponia, <sighs> though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. That's not true. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not mm. enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Yeah, who cares? He's right. I'm not good at anything. Come you got your whole life ahead of you. True. You have no idea. Think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love Kay. apples. Okay. I was thinking more you can do something with that. Carpentry or horses or something. Alright, go work in an orchard then. By that mm -hmm. token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father <laughs> told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you yeah. still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. No. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Yes, I know. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all. Door's in closed. The past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was yeah. always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. She must be waiting inside. Oh. Well, Jamie. Come on, buddy. If I could just walk straight. Whatever, we're just gonna hop this because we're cool. Hi, buddy. Don't say that. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. <laughs> I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. 
Howdy. So I want to change. Well, they say that a man only changes for one woman. And that's how you know. I'm also going to stop right there because it's been 30 minutes. So I will see y'all tomorrow.